Hey guys, Peter here at 630. Let's talk about bicycle saddle springs and elastomers. Okay, so Peter again, you may be shopping for a bicycle, we call them in the industry saddle, but com more commonly I would say they're referred to as seat. You can use either one. Saddle maybe, maybe people look at you weird. It's what I usually call them, but you can also call them seat. Um, so anyway, back in the day, they normally came with the springs right here, which are great. They, they really do give you a nice cushion. And then later they came up with this elastomer bumper, which is kind of like a kind of rubber, rubbery material. Um, I would say it's less, a little less cushiony, but that is kind of, uh, your, the preference is really going to be very personal. You know, it's like a seat in a car um, or even a couch or a mattress. Some people prefer a, something a little softer. Some people prefer a little more support and something a little more firm. Uh, so, I mean, myself, I like a little uh, firmer seat, um, but then I also wear padded shorts, which by the way is by far, in my opinion, the most comfortable way to ride a seat. Not a wider seat, but actually putting bicycle shorts on. And if you don't like bicycle shorts, you can wear some other shorts over them because uh, I know it's not everyone's preferred fashion, not mine even, but uh, it's definitely the most comfortable thing. So anyway, the spring is going to be a little more squishy. You can see I can squish it here with my hand even. So you're gonna have a little more bounce. It's gonna give you a little more, uh, little more suspension. Um, and then the elastomer is uh, not. It's going to give you, a, I don't think I can squeeze it. It does give some suspension, but not as much. It's a little firmer, gives more support, you could say. So you may even want to, uh, I don't know, ride a couple bikes that have these differences to find out um, if, you're, if you're worried about buying it on the internet. But the spring will give you a little more suspension and then the elastomer will be a little firmer. Uh, another advantage, uh, well, not, another difference is that the, uh, the spring seat sometimes squeaks. Um, I don't know why, I've never been able to figure this out. If anyone's watching this and in the comments can tell me, I mean, there's so many things and hacks I know about bikes. Um, however, I have to tell you, I probably learn five or 10 new things every day, even though it's not, none of this is rocket science, but there's like, the, the bicycle world is so vast. There's so many things to learn about it. But, um, <laughs> and of all the things that I've never let defeat me on repairing a bike or, you know, making quality better or whatever, uh, I encounter a uh, squeaky seat. I usually just replace it. I don't know what to do. And if, you know, if we sent you a seat like this and you get it and it's squeaking, we'll send you another one. And, it, it won't, and I don't know why. It maybe it has something to do with tightening the nuts, but I've always done that. The elastomers don't squeak at all, okay? So this is a foolproof way to get a, a non-squeaky seat. The springs, again, they may squeak. It happens. I'm not sure why. Um, elastomers will not. So there you go. There's a little rundown on why some seats have springs and why some have the elastomer. Get one and get riding. you, you got to have a seat to ride, right? Okay, I truly hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked it, please do like it and hit subscribe. It helps grow our channel. And if you need any help at all, please contact us. You can call us at 310-982-2877 or email us at theteam at 630.com. Remember, 630 is spelled out S-I-X-T-H-R-E-E-Z-E-R-O. The team at 630.com. Thanks.